hey Chris, it's Nick from NVIDIA. How are you doing? I'm here to talk to you about our new Tegra K1. Give you a little bit of uh, detail on our chip we just recently announced here at, um, uh, at, at CES. And you can see from this diagram that we have 192 processing cores for the graphics. That's our Kepler graphics architecture. And we have four Cortex A15 R3s and a fifth power saver core, okay, so that can, the power saver core can be used for sort of less intensive uh, applications and background processing to save power. Uh, very, very high performance processor, and this is the first time now that we have our desktop class GeForce architecture, okay, that's current with the uh, desktop architecture of today in mobile. And we'll be seeing the devices with Tegra K1 32-bit version coming uh, in the first half of this year, likely in the second quarter, okay? So we're really excited. This is really, really a big deal to bring the type of graphics capability that our Kepler architecture brings to mobile because we support now DX11.2 API. We support uh, OpenGL 4.4. Um, along with the OpenGL ES standards, we support CUDA 6, so we can do a lot of great GPGPU types of computation. Uh, we're going to bring just wonderful graphics, uh, high performance, um, just the sorts of uh, uh, capabilities you just don't see in existing mobile devices today, mobile um, processors. So in fact, this slide right here shows you that we are now can run the Unreal Engine 4 in mobile. Okay, so Kepler permits that. And Tim Sweeney, who is uh, the founder of Epic, said he didn't expect to see this for three to four years, and it's coming now. Okay, so that's really great. This is an example of sort of rendering you might see today in mobile processors. Um, you know, it's not that well uh, defined, and it looks pretty cartoony, and this is what we can do. This is what we can do with our K1 processor, Tegra K1. So you'll see this environment has a lot of, uh, it has like global illumination, there's tessellation, there's lighting, advanced lighting. We can do a run through of the demo in more detail a little bit later, but it's just uh, almost photo real. I mean, we're getting to the point where we're photo real in mobile, and this is using Unreal Engine 4 to render this demo. So it's really, really cool stuff. Um, looking at the comparative to the prior generation of consoles, Tegra K1, is of course running um, newer API level because let's be clear the, the GPUs that were in these devices are circa 2004 architecture okay 2004 2005 and we are just 10 years later we can bring a lot more performance to a much smaller uh, size processor and one that also uh, consumes about 20x less power so we've got more GPU horsepower more CPU horsepower, that's with the quad core. Now, in addition, this we also have, and we announced, our dual Denver version, 64-bit version of the Tegra K1. And this is the first Android 64-bit uh, super chip. We'll see products based on this architecture uh, in the second half of 2014. So our Project Denver is now alive, and this is ARM uh, V8 architecture, 64-bit capable, super high performance. In fact, the Denver uh, CPUs are seven-way superscalar. Okay, there's no other mobile processor at that level. All right, so you can also see the specs here on our Quad A15s for the K1 32-bit, and then the K1 64-bit. So. We're really, really excited. Um, we're going to bring, you know, Tegra's going to be in handsets, uh, mobile devices of all sorts, uh, right up to PC class devices and all in ones and that kind of thing. So that's a quick summary of the Tegra K1 here at CES 2014. Great. Thanks very much.